why do you think Christians should consider Christian banking? Because as you say, most banks are secular. Uh, and of course, many don't share our values these days. They may have 20, 30, 100 years ago, but less so these days. What do you think is the big need for Christian banking these days? I, I think it's essential that not only Christian banking, but that we consider any Christian business uh, before we make a, a leap into just uh, arbitrarily working with uh, maybe the most recognizable secular brand of whatever it is. So and specifically for Christian banking, I think it's important because uh, in our organization, for example, uh, I came from a large national secular bank in the United States, right? And one of the probably two largest in the country. And so I honed my experience and skills uh, there and then mm. came to apply them in, in a, a smaller setting in a Christian bank or a Christian credit union. Um, and so our executive team is composed of everyone that has banking expertise and experience, educational expertise and experience. So so from that foundational standpoint, you're, there's nothing you're giving up, I think, in mm. choosing a, a Christian bank versus a non-Christian bank, right? You still have the same level of expertise that's managing the affairs of the institution. Where we then take it a step further is culturally inside our organization, we're made up of believers. Mm. So as we hire folks on staff, you know, we are very careful to make sure that they understand that we're serving the body of Christ, whether you're a missionary, whether you're an individual trying to raise a family, whether you're a pastor, uh, whether you're a church and you bring your financial uh, needs to us or financing needs to us, or whether you're a small business owner, those are all the, the groups we serve. We're still serving the body of Christ. And so we're believers serving other believers. So that's going to make that mm. experience of customer support very different with us than it is with the secular bank, because oftentimes uh, our call contact center will um, pray with individuals. That, mm, uh, call fantastic. In, you know, when, when they, they hear a problem, you know, sometimes the problem is it's a big problem because we're living life on this planet and sometimes the problems are very challenging. So yeah. yes, a, a financial institution will do what they need to do to support you with that financial problem or access issue or whatever that problem is. But we take it a step further and, and, and we can understand. And as a believer, we can come alongside you and, and uh, pray with you in that regard. On top of that, our giving, you know, we, I mentioned it before, we give from our profits back into kingdom work. And going Fantastic. back to the root, roots of our original name, um, we are in our DNA, we're still evangelical. We believe in the spread of the gospel. We believe that this entire planet needs to know about Jesus. And yeah. that's the hope of humanity, right? If, Absolutely. If, if anything, we have to be investing our profits back into ministries that are spreading the gospel. So we don't see ourselves as frontline um, evangelists, let's say, but mm. we can play a supportive role where we give into those ministries so that we can further the work of the kingdom and we can grow the kingdom of, of God on this earth. You know, that's, that's our, that's really the why we're here at Adelphi. You know, the banking is just a, a, a tool to help us raise funds and then, you know, give. Advance uh, the gospel. Advance the gospel. That's it.